Hey guys, so I told you earlier in the season that I had gone over to my mother-in-law's house and ended up doing some air layers of some of her fruit trees. So there was uh, an app, two apple trees that I did um, and then a Bartlett pear. The apple was uh, Honeycrisp. And so I was looking forward to getting those guys. It's been, I think, four months since I did that. And I went over it, what are we, beginning of October. And it's starting to get kind of cold. The trees are about to go dormant here. And so I wanted to get those guys uh, cut off the main tree and get them potted up so that by spring they can start growing roots. Uh, I got over there and got that done. I've got them right here. We'll take a look at the results, how things turned out. So this is one of the Bartlett pear. You can see they're pretty good sized branches here. Um, get this up close so you can see it that's what we ended up getting one good long root there and then a uh, bunch of other little guys in there so not too exciting or outstanding here I mean there's not a whole lot of a root system but there's enough of one that I think it's going to turn out just fine so what I'm going to do with this is go ahead and snip this down to a single leader so we'll just take that branch off. And the reason is because we've got such a small little root system here, we don't want to make it work so hard to support all of this growth. I think if all of these buds started taking off next spring, the plant would die just because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have enough of a root system to support it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that branch. So now you can see we're down to one little tree there. Snip a little bit more of this off. All right, we're down to one little tree there. And you can see that the inside material, if this will focus, you can see the inside material is still really green and nice. So despite the fact that there's not much of a root system, the buds are in really good healthy shape. You can see them there nice and red there's a lot of green I scratched some of the branches here and there's a lot of green cambium under there um, they're in real good shape there's not going to be any problem I don't think with them growing in the spring we'll find out but I will also this is just still too big of a plant with that little root system so I'm going to come up here I think and snip this guy let's see where's a good bud here I want to make sure I've got good healthy buds to work with. I think I'm going to go right here. I'm about a half inch up above that bud. Some people do it three quarters of an inch, but then cut it at an angle. So when I water, it doesn't just collect water on the surface there um, and encourage rot. But you can see that from that big cutting there or that big air layer there, we had all these branches. We've whittled it down to just this little guy. And now, I showed you, you can see all of this uh, cambium, or all, I'm sorry, all of this callus. That's all callus that built up. All those little dots in there. I don't know if the camera will focus, but all those little white specks in there, that's all part of the callus. So what I'm going to do, it's got roots on it, but I'm going to kind of scrape away some of this callus here. And get some of that chunky stuff exposed. So it'll encourage the plant to grow even more roots. And in fact, I think I'm going to scrape away some of the bark here. We'll see what happens. So I've kind of scraped away some of that callus and just exposed it. And then a little bit of the bark of the, of the branch there. So we'll go ahead and just stick that in a one gallon pot with some fur bark and water it in it's already lost all its leaves so i'm not worried about it losing moisture and you know it's getting cold enough uh things are starting to go dormant anyway so i think it'll just sit there it'll freeze hard as a rock this winter and come spring that should grow a lot of little roots we'll come back out and take a video of that uh next spring and see how things turn out now one of the apple 
the honey crisp apple actually both of them let me grab those guys look like this neither of them had any roots and so there's just a little bit of callus built up there so what I'm going to do with that and I've already done it with one of them here we'll just go ahead and right here you can see is where I stripped the bark when I did the air layer we'll just cut right below that callus and then you got that little callus ball there and I'm gonna scrape a chunk of that right off and same thing on the other side there we go and in doing that it opens all of that up and will encourage some finer nice root growth throughout there sometimes that callus gets so built up there it is now it's focusing sometimes that callus gets so built up that roots can't really grow through or don't don't do very well and so if you cut some of that away roots will be able to grow out through there and then on this side I took some of the bark and I'm down to the cambium layer so hopefully more roots will grow I'm not going to use more rooting hormone they've already proven that they're growing all kinds of callus and it's got all the substance it needs for a nice healthy set of roots to start growing and like I said it's dormant it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to die back or do anything hopefully um, it's just going to almost like a hardwood cutting it's just going to sit in the pot and then when spring comes and it warms up it should start growing roots we'll see what happens and then the same thing with this one I'm going to snip it back snip that little branch off there I don't want a lot of side branches right now because I want this plant I mean the roots are so small I don't want it to have to work so hard we'll just snip that back and all we end up with is that little guy and here was the other one I did I just kinda cut back some of that callus and a little bit of the plant snip the top off I got a nice solid bud right there I need to get a better focusing camera anyway those are the two apple actually there's three of them so I'll get the other one done and the pears will snip back as well so this is one of the other Bartlett pears big suckers here <laughs> and they're the ones with the nice little root systems on there so I'm gonna do the same thing with this whittle it down and put all of these in one gallon pots we'll label them and we'll see what we end up with next spring so come on back and check out how these things are going and I'll post a video hopefully I'll be pulling these out of the one gallon pots and we'll see just tons of roots throughout there all right and here's the end result so they're all potted up in the one gallon pots there and these are the two pear trees and these are the three apple so we'll go ahead and just water these guys in real good getting a good soaking I'm not going to fertilize at all because we're headed into winter and I don't want to encourage any green growth um, any new growth going on so we're just going to leave them just the way they sit right now let them sit all through the winter and then hopefully in the spring we get all kinds of root growth out of them and probably by next summer we'll have pots full of roots and I'll go ahead and take another shot of that in almost a year. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.